All right, I'm gonna be setting up my mount here. As you can see, I got it all out. Just gonna turn on the power here like that and turn on the ASI air. And take the dust shields off for the main scope and the guide scope as well here. That side there. Also gonna make sure got the dew heater on. That's for the guide scope here and the dew heater for the main scope automatically comes on. Log here for the iPad. That sound you heard was for the SI Air Plus. Coming on, <clears throat> let me know it's fired up. Go into the uh, we're now going to go in um, we're going to go into the Wi-Fi on here and connect to the ASI Air Plus Wi-Fi signal on the Air iPad here. Got that connected. All right. Now I'm going to go into the ASI Air app. Let that load up. And the device here. Oh, everything looks good. All right. So just continue here. I had a small issue with my main camera not. Uh, starting up there, so that's why I had to stop that for a second. Um, just had to reset it here and connect it manually. Uh, put the dew heater on here. Come over here, turn the mount on. Give that a second. Come over. Nice clear night out here. Yes, I can see Polaris. It looks pretty well. Aligned Polaris, pretty well. Not too far off. All right. Let's see if the mount is connected yet. Still initializing, so we'll have to unplug the USB cord here. Plug it back in. Sometimes I have to do that. And that should be connected just fine. All right, now we're connected. Come here. Connected on the ASI Air software. All right, now we just got to do a quick align for the mount so it syncs up. Yep, let's align you. Okay. Yep. Do a one star alignment. Enter, and we're going to go to Capella. Let it slew where it thinks Capella is. Again, it's going to be off, but no problem at all. Kind of this is just to sync it up so it knows where it's at. Give that one second. Almost there. All right, that's where it thinks Capella is. Like, all right, you done slowing, done slowing. Yeah, we're done slowing. On the there. All right, now we're at Capella, aligned success. Now we're aligned, it's synced up. So I'm going to go back to home, go home, okay. I'm going to go back where it thinks home is. It should be pretty close, if not, I'll move it a tiny bit. Just give it one second here. That's yeah, pretty close. It always goes not quite there that I have to align it to the Little tick marks right here, little tick mark right here. And yep, now we're right where we should be. Yep. And next thing we're going to do is the uh, focusing. So we're going to do the auto, auto focuser here. And press auto focus. Press one second exposure. We should be good. I'm going to go turn the light off so it focuses better. So stay tuned. Okay, now we are going to do the polar alignment. So, got the focusing done, the autofocusing. It didn't take long at all this time because it should be still in pretty good focus since the last time I used it. So, we're going to go to polar alignment and let it start going from here. Press play. And take its test images and move around. I'll get out of the way and let you all see it. Oh, 
go. It's gonna settle, take more pictures. Had to turn the light on in here, so it's probably not gonna find as many stars as it usually does. But we should still be able to do it just fine. All right, so I'm ready to go. We're gonna say calculator. So let's go. Our iPad down here. Oh, we are four degrees off to the left. Oh my goodness! I think I'm gonna have to move them out. Yeah, let's move them out a tiny bit. It's just a little bit. And let's refresh that. <laughs> our altitude is fine, but we're pretty far off there. Oh yeah, I moved it the wrong way. Why did you see that? Let's try that. Normally you wouldn't do this, so you're getting to see the, the kind of the worst the polar alignment I've ever done probably. So let's do it again. Like that. There we go. Fresh. Okay, now we're just down to a degree. That shouldn't be too hard. So, move it over a little bit here. Same down there. Let's see where we're at now. You can put auto on here too, but I always do it manually. We see it after every movement I make. Alright, let me go back this way a little bit. We went a little bit too far. Huh? All right, just a little bit more this way. Getting a little close. It's already giving the smiley face, but I like to give it a little bit more. All right, that's good for there. I'm gonna actually just do a tiny bit more. Let's see how low we can get that. Alright, 0.41. Sometimes I try to get too perfect on here. Kind of like a game. Oh yeah, 0.15, that's great. Now we'll do the altitude. These get down. So we're going to loosen this right here. Just a tiny bit. Pull a little bit back. Yeah, let's try that. Here might be, it might be a little different, but this is going to be pretty similar. We're doing the out on house mode. Uh, knobs is what I do first, and now we're doing the altitude. The altitude is easier. We go a little bit up now. It's this way. A tiny bit. Check that out. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's great. I think we're going to call that good. Total error of 0.24. You know what? I think we can do a little bit better now. <laughs> I shouldn't, but we're going to try it. We can go down a little bit. So, just the slightest bit. Let's see if that is any better. Probably just pull the shooters up. <laughs> Been happy with that. Yeah, I did. So now, I'm going to play this game. So us should have left low well enough one. <laughs> oh, 0.24. I think we need this a little bit better. 0.25, okay. Let's try that. Oh, yeah, that's Point two nine and point two three. I think we'll end it there. That is a really good polar alignment. So I am happy with that. So we just press finish here on the iPad. I've ridden a motorcycle very fast. As I've done it faster, but it's five minutes and five seconds. I mean, come on, that's still, that's still pretty good. I'll take it. So now we're polar aligned.
we're focused. So really, we're ready to go to our target now. So I always go to the target first, and then I start auto-guiding. So let's go ahead and click where it says Polar Alignment. I always go to uh, the preview button, and then we can look for our target. And tonight, I'm going to try to do Levis Triplet. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with the focal length I have on here, but uh, we're going to try it out. Why not? So, come in here. They're showing me what's best for tonight. And let's see if they've got Leo's triplet on here. They should. If not, I'm going to have to look it up. Which is no big deal. I just forget the NGC number for it. Well, I have to look it up. Of course, it's not going to show them to me by name, so I'm going to have to look it up on my phone. Naturally. Leo's triplet. Alright. Hmm. Let's go to. In. 65, why not? There's three of them, obviously. So, in 65, search. There's M65. Of course, it's going to take me to like directly in the middle of that galaxy, but yeah, hopefully, this is high enough. I was looking at it for 9 o'clock, but we'll see. I'm going to salute to it here. Go to. There we go. Takes off. but we might be. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. That's perfect. Awesome. So, it's slow in there. Now it's going to try to um, do its centering and um, validating if it's centered or not. Yes, it's not quite centered. It's never quite centered, so it's going to move a little bit. Confirm. Confirm. It's going to take a test shot. See if we see anything in there. It's all this light. I don't know if we see much, but all right. Yeah, it looks like we're centered on the galaxy. Um, but I'm going to come in here and see if we can get all these in. Oh yeah, we're going to be able to. So I love this part of the ASI Air app. You can come in here and then now I want to get all of these right in the frame. So I'm going to actually focus in the middle. Right? Mm, I think that looks pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good framed up. And so I just press go to that spot, just arbitrary spot in the middle. And so it's going to plate solve to make sure it's right in that area. And I should see three little galaxies. It's all really well. I'm really excited I can actually fit all three of these in here. I wasn't quite sure, so. <laughs> All right, took the test image here. One, two. I think I see a faint third thing right there, so I think we should be good. I mean, that's, that's pretty well aligned up there. So now we're going to go into guiding and go in here. Start our guiding. Ah, we can do it better. Let's do uh, one second exposure here get a better picture than that. And I'm going to turn the lights off and we're going to start our guiding. That is it for now. It's just going to be taking its pictures. So there you go. Enjoy.